Welcome all of you this afternoon here to St. Mary's Church in West as we come together in this happy occasion to witness the wedding ceremony of Peyton and Nolan as they celebrate the sacrament of marriage. Peyton and Nolan, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you. Together with your family and friends, as today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. Flesh of my flesh born of my Story told you've always known You took my breath in the daylight You stole my heart like a thief in the night Today, just for a moment, I'd like you to stop and reflect on why you're here at their wedding. It probably would be for a lot of those same reasons that Jesus was at that wedding of Cana. Jesus knew that weddings were good places to celebrate, to celebrate life and new life, to celebrate new beginnings, and to have a good time. Being at that wedding, Jesus shows us how good it is to laugh, to sing, to eat, to dance, to be together with family and friends, to be in love. We will share our home, we will share our bed. Jesus reminds us of those words of St. Paul that he wrote to the Corinthians, that love is patient, love is kind. It's not jealous or pompous or inflated or rude. Love doesn't rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Flesh for my flesh. Today at this wedding, we believe the risen Lord is alive. He's living, he's loving and rejoicing in Nolan and Payton as they come before him as a husband and wife. All right. This is the time uh, for one thing, and that's dance. You shouldn't be sitting anymore. 
Let's get up now and let's 